Turning to other news, new at 11, take a look at these photos. Someone threw a massive rock over an overpass, slamming into this windshield. And what a close call for the mother and the son inside as glass sprayed everywhere. And they told Channel 11's Michelle Newell they weren't the only ones hit. Well, we had glass all over us. Um, I had glass in my pants. Um, glass was in my son's mouth. My foot got cut, not bad, but my foot got cut, um, you know, and his mouth could have been cut up. Getting out of this without being seriously hurt is more than a relief. We all could have lost our lives, which is so upsetting. It's, it's traumatizing. Kim Harding was in the passenger seat. Her 19-year-old son was behind the wheel. They were on 70 near the Jessup Place overpass in Washington County. We were just driving home, having a good time, spending, you know, the evening together. A good time that was quickly interrupted with a loud bang. We both ducked. It happened so fast, and we thought that somebody shot a gun um, into the car. They pulled over and saw this rock lodged into the windshield. It happened around 10 o'clock Sunday night. Days later, glass is still scattered throughout the entire car. Harding says her son handled it so well when it happened, but she knows there could have been a different ending. As a mother, I'm like, oh, wow, I mean, you could have killed my child, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's, it's traumatizing. It's extremely upsetting. It really goes without saying this was more than a close call. And what's more troubling is knowing that this isn't the only car that was hit. There were multiple vehicles hit, uh, I believe, after ours. And a semi actually pulled up behind us and asked if something hit us because something hit him. Harding says she can't stop thinking about a woman who had children and a baby in her car when the rocks were thrown. That's very upsetting. She could have lost control of those car, uh, of her car and, you know, they could have lost their lives. State police say rocks were thrown at cars on Friday and Sunday. It's not clear if they have any leads, but Harding has a message for those who are responsible. Know what your children are doing. Uh, I, I don't know if these are young kids, but what are you doing out at 10 o'clock at night? You might think that this is fun and games and, oh, okay, yeah, we got a car, but you can take somebody's life. Michelle Newell, Channel 11.